yeah now let us deal with the classification of the breast in the classification of the breast there is non invasive carcinoma invasive carcinoma and pager's disease it is divided into three types so non invasive carcinoma is divided into intra is of two types which is intraductal carcinoma and lobular carcinoma in situ and invasive carcinoma is infiltrating duct carcinoma infiltrating lobular carcinoma and medullary carcinoma it is of 10 types colloid carcinoma tubular carcinoma adeno adenoid cystic carcinoma secretory carcinoma inflammatory carcinoma carcinoma with metaplasia so this is the classification of uh, uh, carcinoma of breast so general features uh general features include that the uh carcinoma of left breast is most common when compared to left breast carcinoma is more common than the right this is one point and the second point is anatomically speaking breast is basically divided into four parts upper medial upper lateral four quadrants upper medial upper lateral lower medial and lower lateral here lower medial quadrant 10% and lower lateral quadrant contribute to breast cancer is 10% the most commonest feature is upper medial portion which constitutes of 80% sorry 50% and upper lateral is less than 10% it means that the upper medial portion contributes to 50% of uh, uh, carcinoma of breast whereas the others constitute to only 10% of carcinoma of breast so right now in this lecture we will deal with in situ in non invasive in situ breast carcinoma so the first carcinoma which we will be dealing here is non invasive which is in situ breast cancer so here in non invasive two types of non invasive in situ breast carcinoma is seen as i have said it is intraductal carcinoma and intralobular carcinoma so let us discuss first about intraductal carcinoma intraductal carcinoma is basically confined to the larger mammary ducts uh has it is confined to within the larger mammary ducts so it is called as intraductal carcinoma larger mammary ducts first the tumor begins has a typical hyperplasia of ductal epithelium this is again followed by filling of lumen of duct with tumor cells so clinically to say it has a palpable mass with nipple discharge right approximately quarter of the patients with this carcinoma are mainly treated by excisional biopsy just by excision we can treat these people so morphology in the morphology grossly speaking this is a tumor uh, this may vary from small poorly defined focus which can't be even illustrated to 3 to 5 cm 
diameter mass and cut section the involved areas mainly shows cystically dilated ducts with cheesy necrotic material which is in comedo pattern or it may be intraductal tumor it may be polypoid or friable and friable which is like papillary pattern so this is the gross diagram which may be poorly defined and cystically dilated right which may be comedo pattern or polypoid pattern so coming to histological features histologically let me draw diagrams basically because histology drawing diagrams is far better than explaining rally so right so in histology there are mainly five four patterns there are mainly four patterns in histology so one is solid pattern you are see you are able to see right and the second is comedo pattern third is papillary pattern fourth is cribriform pattern right all these are four patterns right that three here right so first comedo pattern cribriform pattern papillary pattern right let me deal with uh, solid solid pattern here in the solid pattern uh, it is by filling of oh, this is the duct right the lumen of the duct is completely filled with tumor cells in solid pattern right the lumen of the duct is completely filled with tumor cells here in solid pattern what is happening lumen is filled with tumor cells completely right whereas in comedo pattern centrally there is necrosis in comedo pattern and this necrosis is surrounded by neoplastic cells these are neoplastic cells in the duct right this is the neoplastic cell right so here there is necrotic debris which is surrounded by neoplastic cells in the duct right next comes the cribriform pattern so what is in cribriform oh, sorry papillary pattern first complete papillary pattern and cribriform in papillary pattern the tumor cells see this is the total lumen i mean this the tumor cells project like papillae right i hope you are able to understand so the tumor cells basically they project these are all tumor cells they project like papillae so to see this is a, a outline so it is like this a small papillae so here tumor cells project i mean tumor cells uh, form intraductal papillary projections right fine the final one is cribriform pattern here the tumor cells leave small fenestrations so first we draw the fenestration this is one fenestration left by tumor cells this is other fenestration this is other fenestration left by tumor cells and see this is what it looks these are the fenestrations which are left by 
tumor cells. So this is like a cribriform pattern, right? Here, tumor cells leave few fenestrations, right? In introductor, right? These are the uh, histological features seen in uh, non-invasive in situ carcinoma. In that, the first one is intraductal intra was completed. So now let us discuss about the lobular carcinoma in situ, which is really smaller when compared to ductal car intraductal carcinoma in situ. So lobular carcinoma in situ. In lobular carcinoma in situ, the carcinoma is non-palpable. Not palpable grossly. Are not a visible tumor. Right? So morphologically, just see the morphological features. First, grossly, no visible tumor is seen. Right? And the second one is that is grossly no visible tumor is seen, whereas histologically, right? Let me draw the histological feature. So here, even this occurs in terminal. Even this occurs in terminal ducts or SNI even this occurs in terminal ducts or SNI and here uh, even this occurs in terminal ducts and SNI and what happens here is these ducts or SNI are completely filled by round cells so to come up with so this is a round uh, uh, duct or terminal duct or lobule or SNI and here these terminal duct or ductules are, directly, are filled by small round nuclei with no cytoplasmic margins right so this is a real carcinoma in situ here filled by small round uh, uh, filled by uniform cells with small round nuclei and indistinct cytoplasmic margins So these are the features of lobular carcinoma in situ and ductal carcinoma in situ. So in this class we have learned about both lobular carcinoma in situ and ductal carcinoma in situ along with the classification of breast carcinomas. Don't forget to comment. We will deal about the invasive breast carcinoma in the next class. See you then. Bye.